Stephen Fennec from Tech Guide here, and we are looking at the Tesla Model Y. Now, I know we've seen this in other parts of the world, but it has generally just gone on sale right here in Australia. This is the Model Y. This is the full electric midsize SUV. Now, this is a follow on to the Model 3. We've seen plenty of them on the road here in Australia. They've been very popular. This is proving to be equally popular because sales only started a week ago and they're going nuts. So I think the initial delivery period was between August and November 2022 that's now blown out till mid next year so mid 2023 let's take a closer look at the car many will find appealing the fact that there aren't too many it's not too angular this is quite uh, it has a very very curved design there's not many straight lines that you can see around the car now this this car has the larger 20 inch wheels and is I quite like this color too this blue color is really quite smart now Getting around the back here, the, here's the biggest difference you'll notice from the Model 3 is the this rear, this back end, which uh, is obviously bigger because it offers more storage space. The car itself offers a lot more ride height. So you can see also up here, there's the panoramic glass roof right right here. Is that That's all glass right up in here. So when you're seated inside, you do have a bit of an elevated seating position so that you can there's a good view from every seat. Uh, the, the, the back uh, it does a look a lot larger than the Model 3. The Model 3 is sort of more your sleeker sedan look. This Model Y has a, a larger trunk, let's say. Uh, some people uh, have criticized it. I say beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so I think that uh, it's not too bad. I, I don't mind the look of this car. We've said a lot about the design and the outside of the car, but let's take a look inside. There's plenty of features to talk about there. Well, inside the car, you'll notice it has a quite a Spartan design. So in other words, not a lot of features, not a lot of buttons, not much apart from this massive 15 inch screen. And from this screen, this is where you control everything. So you can see the map when you're driving, you can get access the controls of the car. When you're parked, you can even access entertainment features like Netflix and Disney Plus and YouTube. But that's it. Apart from the, some buttons on the wheel, you've got the stalks on either side of the wheel as well, and your window controls. Not a lot to, to touch and feel in the car that isn't driven all through this screen. In terms of space, I think that there, it, it is quite spacious. Easily sits five adults inside. Uh, so yeah, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. Like I'm pretty tall, so I, I'm sitting uh, with still a fair bit of room here inside the car. It does have this panoramic glass sunroof. You can't open the sunroof, by the way. It's just, it's, it is the glass roof of the car that you can't open or close, but does let lots of light in, which is kind of the idea of having a sunroof in the first place. So that's what I like about ha having a Tesla is you never know what you're gonna get with the new software update. They often unlock brand new features uh, with an over-the-air software update so you could wake up one morning and suddenly have all these new features of the car I was told when I bought my Tesla four years ago my Model S I drive the Model S uh, and it's the same for any owner today I was told the day that I picked the car up I was told today is the worst this car is going to be and I thought to myself, well, that's a really strange thing to say to someone, but then I, I did realize that what they meant by that was this car is going to improve over time, and that's exactly what it did. That's exactly what this Model Y will do as well. Now, what we have here is the rear wheel drive model of the Model Y. Now, that starts at $68,900. That will go zero to 100 in 6.9 seconds and has a range of 455 kilometers. Now, you can also, if you prefer, move up to the performance model, but now you're paying from 98,689 Australian dollars. But what you do get for that is dual motor that you get better range at 514 kilometers and you'll go zero to 100 in 3.7 seconds. So a bit of a difference between price, but also a bit of a difference in performance. 
of course charging you can charge through the vast supercharger network across the country as well as at all the destination charges as well most people myself included we charge in our own driveway there's a, most people have their own charger they uh they they just basically top up the car after they've driven it now the big thing about the tesla is it's a very safe car considered one of the safest on the market and uh, it does have a very low center of gravity thanks to the battery being along the bottom of the car so a very low chance of a rollover so that low center of gravity very helpful also has a rigid body structure as well so plenty of protection there they've got large crumple zones so uh, yeah really big tick on the safety side on the storage side as well the front trunk and the split folding second row seats between all of that and all the rear space there's a total of 2158 liters of space that's a lot of stuff you can store if you want to read our complete review head over to techguide.com.au Thanks for watching.